I mean, you don't compete with your father, neither would he in his lifetime be competing with me. In fact, he will be urging me on to achieve every father will be proud of his son. Well, my journey has been a most interesting one. I come from a third uh, line of artists in the sense that my grandfather before my father was a traditional sculptor of repute in Onitsha. Uh, my father is celebrated as a Africa's pioneer modernist artist. And so growing up at home, it was easy for me to imbibe the smell of things and to be inspired watching him work. Oliver Nwongo is an artist striving to seek perfection or excellence in his work because in many cases, perfection may not necessarily be achieved, but you can continue to be spurred to achieve excellence. Oliver Nwongo is an artist first. Oliver Nwongo is a curator, is an art administrator, and Oliver Nwongo is a publisher. And uh, throughout my life, you know, I've been at the forefront of promoting uh, uh, modern and contemporary Nigerian and African art. Well, I'll say African art is extremely rich. I mean, African artists are everywhere on the rise. Uh, we have been shaped by our traditions. When you look at where we've come from, from the Nok Terracotta to the Benin sculptures, you know, you see African artists imbibing some of these traditions, those tectonic and geometric shapes of African art. You see that a lot in African art. You also see experiences from colonialism. You see experiences from contemporary African politics. You see our experiences from the advent of Christianity, the advancements in technology. You know, you see how we're able to define our identity. Now today you see African artists, you know, uh, making portraits of, uh, of, uh, of sitters and of African subjects as a way to celebrate black excellence. So you see a lot of that. So you see that richness from all these events and experiences which has served as a very invigorating stimulus for us. Inspiration for me is stimulus. Inspiration is what uh, inspires you to greater heights. Inspiration is what will set you thinking. You know, inspiration is what will set you uh, delving and researching. You know, you can be inspired by an artist's work by looking at his work, by studying his philosophy. You can, you can be inspired by an artist by looking at his technique. You know, and not that you should copy, but you should find another way of interpreting what the artist is doing or engaging with the artist. You know, you can also get inspiration from your environment. So for me, inspiration is that stimulus that spurs you on, you know, to achieving greater or even achieving a deeper understanding of your philosophy of your work, you know, or even understanding the context or your position within narratives of uh, modernist practice. That's how I'll define inspiration.